accurate, dependable weather forecasts 24 hours a day. It has already picked up over six inches of rain. Point Mugu has picked up almost three inches, and Los Angeles has picked up an inch and a half. But with all the rain, as welcome as it is, there have been some problems. The problems in the form of mudslides. The heavy rains there yesterday caused mud and rock slides, many of them in the Gaviota State Park area right along the coast. Highway 101, the Pacific Coast Highway, was closed last night from 10 p.m. until 6 this morning. Highway 1 is closed indefinitely, and State Route 166 and 33 are also closed indefinitely. Let's take a look at our current situation. Some light rain right now around Alameda and Modesto, California, on up towards the San Francisco Bay Area. More light rain in Baker, Oregon, even on up towards Walla Walla, Washington. Then you start hitting the snow as you head on up into the higher elevations. Actually, you don't even have to go that high. Snow levels in the Sierra Nevada are down to about 1,500 feet, and they could get lower because the cold air is going to be coming in with each of these systems as they move onshore, and snowfall levels are expected to drop in the mountains of Arizona as well. As we head on into the central section of the United States, pretty much on the dry side, but still very, very windy, causing the dust to uh, really kick up around New Mexico on up into Oklahoma and Kansas. That's been reducing visibilities. Some light rain and snow as you head into Pennsylvania, New York, and even on up into northern Maine. Rain and snow in the western United States. The storm system in the northeast will leave behind some strong gusty winds for the early part of the day on Wednesday, but those winds will be abating. Light rain is anticipated across portions of Texas on into the mid-Mississippi Valley, but not a lot of potential there for rain. The potential is out in the west, maybe along the coastal areas, up to a half an inch of rainfall there. And the snowfall amounts could be impressive. Mammoth Mountain, California, picked up 40 inches of snow with the previous system. Up to a foot of snow is anticipated with this one, not only in the central Sierra Nevada, but the Wasatch of Utah and into the mountains of northern Arizona. As we take a look at those overnight lows, very cool but very pleasant as you head into the daytime hours, 60s and 70s across the southeastern United States, still 30s and 40s as you head into the west. Temperatures are going to warm up nicely, then over the weekend begin to cool down just a bit in the eastern United States with the 70s being replaced by 60s as we head into Sunday. It looks very promising in the east by our maps, but remember, these are just scattered showers and thunderstorms that we anticipate. We don't anticipate a broad area of thunderstorms in Texas and Oklahoma, but these areas have a possibility, a little bit of moisture moving in off the Gulf. And in the western United States, one system after the other, more rain, more snow, each one of them taking the edge off the drought. Mm -hmm.